Today we'll be taking on lesson 8, Tilt Ball Switch. For this lesson, we'll be needing the Mega 2560, two F to M wires, and a tilt ball switch. Let's get started, guys. In this lesson, we'll learn how to use the tilt ball switch in order to detect small angles of inclination. The tilt sensor is a new component the lesson plan introduces for the first time. They are small, inexpensive, low power, and easy to use components that allow the user to detect orientation or inclination. There's a conductive free mass inside that rolls around. In the instance that the end is orientated downwards, the ball will roll onto the poles and short them. Now, going over the wiring diagram, we'll be using the D2PWM and ground pin connectors. The two M to F wires will then connect to our tilt ball switch. Unsurprisingly at this point, the lesson plan doesn't go over this code like it doesn't the others. So I did a little bit of research to try and understand it and then explain it to you. So C-O-N-S-T, I-N-T is short for constant integer. This sets a value permanently. And in this, we're going to be setting LED pin to equal 13. And 13 is this guy right down here on that diagram. Void setup initializes LED pin as an output, D2PWM as an input, and sets a digital write function to D2PWM, which sets the voltage to high initially. Void loop then specifies that digital val will equal digital read for pin number two. If we backtrack, we can see that um, pin number two is automatically set to high. So during this reading, most of the time it's going to be high. And it says if digital val equals high, which it will for most of the time, because that's how it initializes, then digital write will set the LED pin to low. And that means the LED will be off. In the instance, the tilt ball switch turns over and that conductive mass shorts those bars at the end, then the LED will turn on. And the reason for that, the pin number two will go from high voltage to low voltage when that occurs. And when that occurs, LED pin will be set to high and that will turn the LED on. Okay, so with the code out of the way, let's build it.